Let's integrate 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 over x cubed minus 2x squared plus x dx. Now this is a classic partial fraction decomposition question because well you have this nasty fraction but also because you could decompose this into parts and it'll be much easier to to f integrate it that way. So what I'm going to start by and also one more one more one more point is that my highest degree in the numerator is less than the highest degree in the denominator meaning I can do partial fractions. So let's start by factoring the denominator. So if I factor out x, I get x squared minus 2x plus 1. And I know that this is just a simple quadratic. If I factor out my x's, I get that x minus 1 squared is equal to that. So now rewriting my integral, this is all equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 1. And now my factored denominator is x times x minus 1 squared dx. Now let's start decomposing. So I first have my, my, my first part is that a over x. My second part is that repeated x minus 1 squared plus c over x minus 1 squared. And this is all under the integral dx. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a, b, and c because they're just constants and I don't know what they are yet. So to find them, the first thing I'm going to have to do is find the common denominator between the two. So multiplying everything so that they all have the same denominator, I will get that. I'm not going to go through the algebra, but you sure can. So a times x minus 1 squared plus bx times x minus 1 plus cx all over my original denominator, x times x minus 1 squared dx. And again, we don't really care about the denominator at this point. What I really care about is what I have over here on top, and I'm going to be equating it to my original numerator. I'm going to take this a step further, and I'm going to be distributing everything in, so I just want this as expanded as possible. I find that that works best for me. So this a is going to be multiplied by x squared minus 2x plus 1, as we mentioned earlier up here. So, but when I distribute everything in, I get that this is all, my entire numerator is equal to ax squared minus 2ax plus a plus bx squared minus bx plus cx is all equal to my original numerator, which was 3x squared minus 5x plus 1. And now I'm going to set up my system of equations. And as I mentioned in my previous video, the way I like to solve or come up with my system of equations is by looking at the similar degrees between the left hand and right hand side. So I'm going to start by my degree of 2. On the left hand side, I have this ax squared and bx squared. So just omitting that x squared, I have a plus b. Let me write a bigger system of equations. Um, a plus b is going to be equal to whatever has a degree of 2 on the right hand side, which is just 3. And now I'm going to look at whatever has a degree of 1. And I see that, two, that negative 2ax has a degree of 1 as well as that negative bx and that cx. And on my right hand side, I have that negative 5x. So writing everything and omitting that x because it doesn't really matter, plus c is equal to negative 5. I have my second equation. And finally, I have on my right hand side a degree of 0. And then also, I do have an a here. I thought I didn't have anything. I have an a with a degree of 0. So a is equal to 1. Great, that solved one, we immediately found one of the unknown constants this way. So I could find b immediately, I can see that. So b is going to be equal to 3 minus a. So b is going to be equal to 2. Great, we found b. And now, just to find c, I plug in what I know is 2 and a, what I just found. So this is going to be equal to negative 2 minus 2, plus c is equal to negative 5. So that's c is equal to negative 5 plus 2 plus 2. 
which is equal to negative 1. Perfect. Now I found all my constants. The very last step is to just plug everything into my integral. So going back to what I had over here, I'm actually just going to copy this and paste it down here. Just rewriting that integral. I know that a is 1 over x. So I mean a is 1, so that is over x. And then b is equal to 2. And originally b was over x minus 1 plus c, which is, or actually just negative, 1 over, what was it, x minus 1 squared, dx. And now, I personally like to split these up into separate integrals and solve them on their own, but you can do them immediately too if you're just that good. Plus 2 over x minus 1, dx, minus the integral of 1 over x minus 1 squared dx. All of these are pretty simple to solve, except for the last one, you're just going to have to do a quick u sub, where u is equal to x minus 1, du is equal to dx, and then this goes to 1, wait, this is an integral of u to the power of negative 2 dx, so that this is rewritten as u to the negative 1 over negative 1 or negative 1 over x minus 1. That's my second. So let me just write everything nicely. So the first integral just gives me ln x. And then my second integral gives me 2 ln x minus 1. And then let me move this. Oh no. And then my, this, there's a negative here, so this becomes plus 1 over x minus 1. And don't forget your arbitrary constant c. And that's it.